Hello Flosstube, it's Natalie, love it, live it, make it yours here on Flosstube and on Instagram. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a shorter Flosstube because I haven't got much to show you and I, I don't know why that is. I have been stitching, I have been stitching um, almost every opportunity I get. I've even done some stitching at work. No, I haven't been lazy. <laughs> I'll explain as I go. But um yeah i just haven't done as much stitching as usual so i'm just gonna get straight on and get into it and then directly after this video i'm going to film a bit of an unboxing video and i really hope you'll in join me for those the unboxing videos i do are not um sponsored i do them because i love the products that i want to show and i um just hope that um, you love them you love them too and I think sometimes it's nice I like unboxing videos because sometimes you'll you don't know if you'll love a project product or um, some stash and it's nice to have a look um, at what someone else has got so yeah I'm not I'm not too sad that this is gonna be a short floss tube but I'm just trying to keep up with them um, just trying to film uh, as and when and as much as I as much as I can so thank you for joining me let's get on so I only have one two three four whips to show you that shows how much I haven't haven't been stitching but what oh, I have I have and I haven't but let's get on anyway and I'll show you what I have done so the first whip I'm going to show you is going to be my goddess Sal those of you that watch me regularly know it is one of my what well, is my favorite project i think it's been my favorite project this year it hasn't been a year long sal i can't remember exactly when it started i'll look it up and um pop a little comment down here somewhere um but here is where i am at let me just find my needle because i would hate to drop that and for my kittens to find it again i'm in kind of their kind of their room i mean it's not really but it's my spare room um so they might join us <laughs> my husband is baking in the living room so i couldn't film in there today but they might make an appearance <laughs> so this is where i am at i this is the current goddess so i think we've only got two goddesses to go one will go in here and one will go in here and then we are done um i'm those of you that watch me regularly know how in love with this project I I am. I've really enjoyed it. I'm not going to go through who all the other goddesses are because they are in previous Floss Tube videos. And I will do a full video on this when it's done. Because um, I'd like to I'd like to share with you the little bits and pieces of this owl. And um Maria from Courtney on Creations has just announced that her next sale is going to be dragons. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I will show you who I've done recently. I completed one yin here. She's holding um, a branch and I'm sure this is water i'm sure but i will check i will check and she's got the yin and yang next to her i'm using classic color works campfire for all the red which i love um so there she is all finished i can hear a kitten crying or well, meowing crying and i have started mummia water down here she's looking great and i'm going to get some more of her done tonight because we're going around a friends some friends houses and my husband and um our friend her, so we're, it's another couple basically and my husband and um the husband of the couple are going to play four games and uh the wife and i i don't like to use names because I haven't asked for permission to name them but yeah the wife of the couple and I are gonna do some stitching I think she's gonna do some embroidery and I'm gonna do some cross stitching but I'm really loving this at the moment it's just been a joy it the whole thing has been I love the border I love that the border wasn't too big 
I love all the goddesses. I love Maria's use of negative space. I've said that all along. That I love the negative use of space. The only thing is, is that um, Guan Yin, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it might be Guan Yin, isn't 100% complete because I was like three stitches short here and I wasn't going to start a whole new length of... Um, campfire just for that bit i'll wait until i've got other bits that need doing i'll do that bit and then carry on because that's what i did when i was stitching up here i can't remember her name i always forget her name but yes so i i had like one and a half stitches in here that needed doing but when i moved along to athena i had a tiny bit left over and stitched in there so the kittens have joined us now so it's probably going to be a bit of chaos in here i hope not but we can what we hope for and what happens are two different things so yeah that is my goddess cell and just because my kittens are in here i'm so sorry i am going to take the time to put this away properly because they have jumped on this so many times they have genuinely jumped on this so many times on the back of it as well i originally i, I haven't used my um lowry for so long even though it really helps with this project because my kittens just hang off of it so one day i was stitching on this and they were hanging off the back one of them was hanging off the back here all four claws ding 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 hanging off the back so i um haven't used my lowry for some time once they were really 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 asleep my husband and I put it and risk chanced it and just did loads of stitching while they were asleep. And then um, as soon as they woke up, I was like, no more. So I'm just watching my, my kitten is sat on my stitching trolley, just looking down at me like I am beneath him. I know literally I'm beneath him, but no, can you get off please? Oh dear. Ugh, they've just been fed as well. So I was hoping that, you know, now he's in my hair so that was my goddess out i have also been working on oh god he just nearly jumped into my hot drink can you can you not i have also been working on stitch with coffees trick or treat sal i didn't manage to keep up with this but i enjoyed i have enjoyed it nonetheless and i will keep up with it sorry it's in my lovely project bag that is by gem stitchery i think i've shown this before but it's also glow in the dark i got the matching notions pouch the matching um like floss buddy i'm not sure what she calls it i don't think she calls it a floss buddy um but i got this to celebrate my new kittens and i got quite far on this actually oh that's really bad in here not not great lighting in here and i did look for my little clip on light but i couldn't find it there we go still not great is it um colors are coming up a bit washed out um but yeah so i've got i've finished all of the little black cat i'm gonna come back to this side finished all of the little black cat all of the ghost cat the bats there is a moon up there as well over here and i've done some of a pumpkin and all of october 31st so i'm gonna bring it close and hopefully you'll you'll be able to see i'll insert a picture of it. it's really really bad i'll insert a picture for you um what doesn't help is i have to use my selfie camera to film this and i think or well, my husband has said to me before that i lose a lot of resolution doing that if anyone's got a better solution as to how i could film this um i've seen uh one of the new um samsung phones apparently they're meant to be really really good for um, youtube videos but if you have a recommendation let me know i don't usually drink in during floss tubes but i've got a bit of a cold come in and i um we're sorting through our tea bags because we have tea like there's no tomorrow and this is a cherry blossom tea and it's the last one and i've held off and held off and held off drinking it and i just thought i'd quickly make it have a little sip during my floss tube to help with my constant cold i seem to have at the moment <laughs> It's that time of year isn't it that time of year and i've had my um flu jab so at least i know it's not flu so yeah that is the trick-or-treat sale um stitch with 
buy stitch with coffee it wasn't a sale um but a lovely lady called rebecca on instagram she um started a sale for it and now there is a christmas one out of kittens and christmas jumpers and if i didn't have so many christmas projects on the go or ones that i really really wanted to do i would have started it um i'd have started it already um i'm gonna i'll debate it i'll really really debate it and have a think about it but i i just love those little cats and yeah the ones in the christmas jumpers look so sweet so one of my other whips as I, i've only got four to show you it's madness <clears throat> one of my other whips is i'm going to make sure i'm not showing you the chart is this um reindeer bauble kit from world of cross stitching it was quite often they do put the issue on there they haven't on this one quite often they do it might be on the instructions let me just have a look for you in case you guys are interested making sure you can't really see i mean it was a free gift you could probably just see the chart uh no it doesn't say what issue it is but i will put put it in um the description below so yeah the little reindeer bauble kit and i one of the young people that I support, she likes crafting. She was doing some sewing and card making. And I joined in by doing some of my reindeer bauble, which isn't really far off done now. That's really not far off done at all. I have, so under the big red, um, I guess this is the reindeer's reins, here and here, you can see there's shadowing and under his chin, they were meant to be yellow, but I'm going to stitch actual bells on there. And so I just thought fur would obviously be underneath rather than big yellow patches. So um, I'm really happy with the progress of that. This is my pre-work stitchy project. But I think if I ever do more crafting at work, um, I might just take it, take it with me so that I can work on it and get it done. So it'll be like my pre-work stitchy project and my work stitchy project my next whip is from cross stitcher magazine give me two seconds and i will i've already mentioned this on my sarah elizabeth stitches um i call it the stash box so I'm, box of delights i think my video before this one my previous video i've already mentioned this lovely um project that i'm working on but i'll show it to you all again anyway it is from issue 376 november 2021 of cross stitcher magazine and to make i mean it's in a magazine but just to make sure i don't show you the chart it is called santa stables and it is by tiny modernist cheryl mckinnon and so it's going to be a 3D Santa's stables with reindeer. It's so sweet. And the other side is going to look like this, which is so lovely. Not great lighting in here, as I said, folks. I'm sorry about that. Even I've got a daylight bulb in here. So I have done, just going to get the other bit out that I've done. This, I'm stitching this on a piece of fabric that came from Rowan's Hospice. So my local craft charity shop, it was £2.75 for a 40 by 50 piece. I cut it into four, um, four different sections for each wall of the stables. There's three bits there and I've got one bit on my frame. And then I wanted, I haven't finished, I almost finished one side, but then I wanted some a twirl to, wanted some a twirl to finish it off. So that is one side and the a twirl and the coloured baubles will go in there. And this is another side. That's not coming up well. Let me find something to go behind. So there we are. That's Rudolph on there. That is a me made needle minder, which I love. 
I'm really pleased with how this is coming along and it's one of my favourite projects at the moment. So I think because I'm working in between this and the Goddess Sal, that is probably why I'm not getting much done at the moment. Just still making sure I'm not showing you the chart. And they are the four projects that I've been working on. So really, really not a lot of whips to show you. Yeah, I I think one of the reasons is is that I'm struggling with um I've had I have had lots to do on my days off. So I've struggled with that a little bit and I'm struggling with being overtired. I think with my previous job and those those of you who um know me or remember me talking about my previous job, I was at work so much for 10 months. So I think when I'm off work now, my body just almost crashes. Just like, you're off work, let's rest. Because I only work four days a week now, sometimes five days a week, but they'll be shorter days. Um, but yeah, my body just relaxes and then I think I'm just overtired still. Ten months of almost what only ever getting sort of one weekend off a month, if that is... Uh, it's probably taken its toll so yeah i do have one ffo to show you and this is my i made this for halloween and i was so i am so proud of it it's my durian jones halloween biscornu and i'm just so proud this this is a project that is basically free i was at not cross jen's um wedding and she um she said we could bring stitching so we all did we all brought stitching and um clue high heeled stitcher and i she had taken me away for my birthday we didn't go around to my birthday we did go um in sort of september time but she had taken me away for my birthday and we had two nights in one hotel two nights in another hotel because i'm a lucky girl and uh two nights were in bath which i think i've mentioned in a previous floss tube and two nights were um in my kittens just sneezed all over me yucky boy yucky um <laughs> it's probably lovely kitten sneeze for you um two two nights were in bath for my birthday two nights were in wales for not cross jen's wedding and i had been working on the goddess sal but i didn't want to carry that around with me all the time because as you've seen it's quite a big project on a big frame i had some leftover fabric from um the goddess sal and i had a pattern on my um tablet for during jones Halloween Biscornu, which was a um, free pattern. And I had loads of Anchor 403, um, which is black, um, in my stash because of the Goddess Owl. And so I thought, well, why not just start the Halloween Biscornu and try and get it done in time for Halloween, which I did, which I did manage. So I'm really happy about, about that. And so, um, yeah, my first Biscornu. Oh, the other thing I was really happy about was, is that I was looking for stuffing for my biscornu and i couldn't um find sort of any any around and um and or it was or it was quite expensive the toy stuffing and so i went to my local um rowan's hospice emporium which is uh one of them is literally opposite my flat i went in there and i brought an, a, a cushion insert which is from ikea it was two pounds and uh, now I've got lots of stuffing. And so, yeah, I um, made this lovely... Oh, that's coming up quite well. This lovely Biscornu. So you can see the pumpkins, the bats. I had loads of lovely buttons in my stash. Skulls are on there. And then underneath is just this lovely pattern. I love the shape. I think I managed the shape. And now I really would like to do a Christmas Biscornu, but I just feel like I've got too much on the go. You know, we're halfway through November already. Um, this one took me from the sort of beginning-ish of September until almost the very end of October. And so I don't feel like I could make a Christmas one in time now. But I'm really happy with, with the end result and I had it out on display for Halloween. Really, really happy with that. It was a bit tricky, but 
yeah really happy with that come up really well on the camera so yeah that's my um my little ffo excuse me again i'd like to have done it on hand dyed fabric but i just used what i had okay i'm gonna go on to some stash now really excited to share my stash with you so i put in because i've messed up my stash order i put in a small order with um the enchanted needle because i wanted some etoile blank blank for this project um there are loads of little gaps where snow piles up around the um characters and on the floor and i thought some blank you're not going to see it but some blank etoile would look really good in there and so that's um i was looking for it or oh, hobbycraft was sold out i went to hobbycraft with a friend to purchase it and they were absolutely sold out i tried two hobbycrafts no such luck tried southampton and haven't i tried online it was quite expensive and then i found um the enchanted needle they had it cheaper than everywhere else and they sell um, lots of different bits and pieces actually for cross stitching. But I picked myself up this lovely um, needle minder because um, obviously I've just got kittens. But it also reminds me of my two cats that I are no, sadly no longer with me. Try and put it behind something so it looks better for you. What have I got to hand? I haven't really got anything to hand. I'll just do whatever other floss tube does and use my actual hand. So I don't know how well that's coming up. Yeah, a little white cat and a little black cat and it just reminds me of the two cats that are no longer with me. Fluff and Zelda. Um, yeah, and the two little kittens I've got now. So that was quite nice. And I also ordered this um, Robin. I've been looking for a Robin cross stitch for a, a while. And I found this lovely Robin. Oh, the camera is so bad today. I'm so sorry, Floss Tube friends. I'm definitely going to look at getting a better phone and camera. I know it's in packaging, but still quite a bad, a bad glare. I'll take my needle minder out of the packaging and see if that helps. But I don't want to take the um, the little cross stitch kit out in case there's a needle in it and it falls out. And I've got my kittens in here. But I'll see if my needle minder shows up any better out of its packaging. Oh, a little bit better. Not much though, huh? Because of my bad, my bad, bad, bad lighting. Yeah, it's pretty bad today, guys. Sorry. <sighs> I did try and find my ring light. I don't know if that would have made much difference. But yeah, so I was pleased with that and it came so fast. I ordered it sort of mid-afternoon and it came the next day. I don't know how that happened. It was witchery, absolute witchery. Um, sorry, I'm getting pins and needles and my kitten is on my lap and I need to stretch out. Just try not to squish my kitten. <laughs> I got some beautiful, um, I went on holiday to Brighton recently. Um, I did loads of stitching while I was in Brighton. I stitched every day and we went for three nights. Stayed in a really lovely hotel. Ate loads of delicious vegan food. Um, but there's not much. Um, there used to be a there used to be a C and H fabrics there. Unfortunately, um, they're closing them all down and they're all saying it's for relocation. But we're all quite suspicious that they're just closing down because they're closing down every store. Like not every store needs to relocate. So. Yeah, it's a bit sad. I didn't find anything in there. Um, but when we were going through the lanes, I found this really lovely sort of grey, blue um, cat fabric. But the red, there's little red patches for like collars and cheeks and fish and bows and hats. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, I got a meter. I usually buy a meter for project bags. So project bag will be underway with fancy cats. And for the inside... Um, the lady in the shop and my husband helped me colour match. This is the red of the detail on the other cats. So I've got a metre of that as well. So that's going to be um, a nice project bag. So I'm going to look forward to making that. 
Oh, I love this. So I am obsessed with Jingle All The Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It is my ultimate favourite Christmas movie. I watch it. I said to my husband that we used to watch it every Christmas day and he says, no, no it was every Christmas Eve. And I'm sure it wasn't. But regardless, we watch it every Christmas Eve now. It's, so it's become a tradition. And my sister always comes around for a takeaway and she's like, oh, we're we watching this movie again. Um, I love it. I love. I just still laugh at it. I still love it. Um, it is absolutely one of my favourites. And so I contacted, I'm sure the lady's name is Lisa. Yes, it is, because she's left it on her business card. Lisa um, from No More Lost Needles on Facebook to ask if she could make me a jingle all the way needle minder. And she did. And it came. And I'm in love. And I can see this just being my main needle minder of the year again i'm just trying to look for something to be able to show you but there he is it does look much better in real life i promise but it's awesome it is so awesome i really really love it so I was really excited about that. And I also got a delivery from Jodie Reed Designs of Periwinkle Twilight Fabric and Hand Dyed Floss. And it is beautiful. How you're seeing it is quite true to colour. It's probably the only thing that's coming up all right today. It doesn't help that it's getting darker. I think maybe I should have filmed earlier in the day. It's quite lovely. It's just like a lovely lilac-y kind of purple. That's quite nice. Yeah, that's nice actually. Yeah, and I love the um the thread I and my husband, um I blame my husband for that. He got me into the um threads. He bought me some for a project. And there was no looking back after that. I hadn't sort of considered using them the way he thought about using them. And now I love them. So that is my... Oh, and sorry, going back to my lovely needle minder. I brought a pattern called um, Put That Cookie Down. Put That Cookie Down Now by Black Waltz Stitching. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. And I'm going to make that my mini Christmas stitch. Um, and I think I've got the perfect hoop for it as well, which will come up in my um, stash. I'll just show it to you now. But I went to the craft charity shop the other day and I got the frame that this um, project is on. It's an 8x8. Eight eight. I got it for £2. It is an R&R. &R. I was really happy with that because I don't have an 8x8. Eight eight. I have a 6x6 six six that I show from Star Charlotte. Charlotte. Um, clue the high heel stitcher i stole a six by six from her and never returned it sorry charlotte then she, then she lent me another one when we were at jen's wedding and i nearly didn't return that she's just got it back but i was really happy to get that eight by eight and at the same time that i got the eight by eight i also got a piece of 18 count 12 by 18 inches oatmeal um fabric which i was really happy about because i've just used a piece of oatmeal that I love. This one's a bit more oatmeal. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. And this was also two pounds. So, I mean, that's an absolute bargain. Really, really happy with that. Hi, hi, hi. Camera, camera today. But I'm really happy with that. I also got a skein of 405, which you um all know is my um 403 which is my black of choice anchor black every time i see it i will buy it and i also got this lovely for one pound fifty this lovely red christmas red hoop so i'm wondering if put that cookie down now will fit in here um so yeah i'm gonna find a piece of fabric and see if i can pop that in there i've also got a project bag on its way from gem stitchery project bag floss buddy and notions pouch and it's got happy santas all over it 
so that'll be on its way. I ha my husband has also brought me, it came today, hang on a minute, I don't want to show you my dress, the Josie Reed advent calendar that is in here. She doesn't do it daily, she does a weekly parcel. Um, so here are my five parcels because I didn't realise there's one for Christmas Day. So I've got a week one, week two, week three, week four, Christmas Day, which is very exciting. And I have decided that I'm going to open them on the 2nd, the 9th, the 15th and the 23rd because that will make for an amazing Friday, I think, to open them on a Friday. Um, so I'm really excited about, about that. So that's, I'm going to put that away for Christmas. And then I have some like sad stash to share with you. Um, those of you that have watched Clue High Heeled Stitches Floss Tube will know that we lost a, a friend of ours, a really lovely lady. Um, I hadn't met her until our retreat. I already knew of her through um, Charlotte and to like comment on her pictures and stuff. And then we we found out she was coming to our retreat. We were so excited. She was really, really good friends um, with Charlotte. They had done um, some sort of cross, cr some um, cross stitching games together um, through um, Facebook. So they got to know each other super, super well. I think they, you know, they're chatting all the time. Um, and then I got to meet her through charlotte at the cross stitching retreat and she was such a lovely such a lovely lady her name was erica and i felt blessed to have met her um then we kept in contact after the retreat and then sadly she was quite poorly I, it's not my it's not sort of my news to share um and sadly she she passed away um but she um sort of you know left all her stash with her um you know she left all her stash and her mum kindly gave it to um some of our friends to sort through and I was lucky enough to get a parcel of lovely um goodies so I'm so grateful and I'll treasure it and I'll use it she was such a lovely lady she did lots for um quilts i'll put a link in the description below um but it's there's love quilts that's it she did a lot for love quilts and um she was just a lovely she was just a lovely lady and i'm so lucky to um have met her and got to know her and spend time with her at the retreat um she was really special and so i'm going to treasure treasure the stash that i that I got given um I got given lots of lovely um Jodie Ree threads and um and some threads from Kim at KLT some more lovely threads and I got some really um some really beautiful fabrics um and so I'm really lucky, I'm really, really lucky um, to have been given these. And I, yeah, I'll just treasure them and stitch some, some really lovely, really lovely projects with them. So, yeah, thank you, um, Clue and Kim, for keeping bits back for me. I'm nothing but, nothing but grateful. It just made me think that, um, you know, life is precious and you just have to make make the most of it things when things like this happen it just makes you think doesn't it sorry for all the crinkle crinkle so yeah that is my mini um yeah, sorry for the sort of a bit of a sad end but it's uh we have to celebrate you know celebrate the joys of the times that um we spent with people and make the most of the people that we have um with us now and that's what i'm trying to do with clue we're off to a christmas market tomorrow so yeah it's uh it's difficult but 
it's made me appreciate my um my friends uh my friends that i've made my family it's made me appreciate them a lot more so um yeah but i hope that you are all having a lovely weekend i hope that you have a lovely sunday tomorrow and yeah thanks for watching please um drop me a comment give me a thumbs up a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that i do reply to every comment i get and i hope to um see you in a month or so um take care everyone thanks for watching bye bye